everybody. How is everybody doing this fine Wednesday morning? What's this accent? I don't know. Am I talking in an accent? <laughs> no, dear. I'm just talking real. Okay. That's all. I'm talking a little weird today. Anyway, Kevin told you we were going on a adventure today and that we were going to take you with us. And he keeps hitting bumps and the camera keeps jumping. That's not my fault. It's his. <laughs> anyway, we are headed out for our adventure and I will let him tell you where we are going. Going to South Pasadena. That's not an adventure. Why are we going to South Pasadena, may I ask? Uh, we're going to go see Sheldon and the... And the Big Bang? The Big Bang people. Yeah? Kind of the Caltech. I don't think so. Okay, we're going to go see if we can find them all because I didn't do a, a lot of research, but there's a lot of information about the locations, the filming locations of the original 1978. Halloween. Uh, they all still exist, and so we're going to uh, go to those areas and uh, show you what they look like today. So we're going to take you on a tour of where Michael Myers first started his killing spree. Welcome to Haddonfield, Illinois. Actually, we're in South Pasadena, California. And uh, right behind me is what was Nichols Hardware Store in the movie. It's a restaurant now. So here we are at Radika's restaurant, which in 1978 was dressed up as Nichols Hardware Store. And this is where uh, Lori Strode and her friends pulled up and met um, uh, Sheriff Lee Brackett, along with Dr. Loomis, because the store was just robbed by Michael Myers. And right over here is where Mike Myers pulls up and around in front of the store. Okay, so we're now standing in front of the building that was the Nichols Hardware Store. And behind me is the intersection where Mike Myers pulls out, makes a left behind uh, uh, Dr. Loomis, who is looking in the wrong direction uh, as he goes by. Okay, so this is the corner where Lori, Annie, and Linda rounded when they were walking home from school. They were halfway down the block when Michael Myers was speeding past them. Annie turned around and yelled at Michael, Speed kills! Just then, Michael came to a screeching halt, scaring all three of the girls. At that point, Michael sped up and took off, and all three of the girls continued walking down this block on their way home from school. So we're here at the location of where Lori Strode lived. Uh, as a matter of fact, Rob Zombie used this house for Michael Myers to stand in front of when they were in class. And that's at a different location in the original movie. But this was the tie-in, because Rob Zombie filmed a lot in South Pasadena as well. So that's the Laurie Strode house. I think it was painted yellow in the movie. Okay, so... Probably the one other really big scene in the movie is the hedge scene where um, the Mike Myers is hiding behind the hedge when the girls walk up. Uh, we're not going to get out of the car because uh, the hedge is actually uh, right next to this beautiful uh, land, um, house and there's all these children playing out in front and, and I just can't see annoying them. I'm sure they're annoyed enough. So I'm going to take the camera so that you guys can see the hedge. And that's it, that's the be the hedge. But, the most important part of the movie that everybody, everybody wants to see 
is this building. It's not in its original location, but this is the Michael Myers house where he killed his, his sister. his very first murder, his sister, in the upstairs bedroom. So as we were walking past the Michael Myers house, we came across the store, Sugar Mint Galleries, and they are advertising for Halloween nothing strange in this store but no beauty without strangeness October 3rd through October 31st open reception original photography from John Carpenter's film Halloween so here we are at the Sugarman gallery and we have uh, photographs on display and for sale uh, which was taken by Kim Gottlieb Walker who was the behind the scenes photographer in the movie. So here is uh, Lori Strode and Tommy in front of the Myers house. Strode Realty, 555. Five, five. And this is where we just were. Here's a picture of uh, Donald Pleasance and Deborah Hill uh, in front of the uh, Nichols Hardware store. It looks like it was not open at the time. But so here we are at Mission and Meridian. So this is Nick Castle, who was the guy in the costume that you never got to see. When he got his unmasked at the end of the movie, they actually had a, uh, a younger person uh, being the face. So here he is just goofing on the set. And I would say that is a... a Dr. Pepper commercial. Dr. Pepper commercial. So this is obviously the famous scene where he breaks into the uh, uh, closet and uh, she stabs him at this point. He gets him with the hanger first. I don't remember. She gets him with the hanger and he drops the knife and then she picks up the knife. But they, I remember reading something or hearing something that she could not break out the slats or something in the closet. Um, my memory uh, of the scene is that the, the guy who breaks through the slats was the special effects guy. So he, the special effects guy, not Nick Castle, was in the Mike Myers outfit. Okay, I and knew it was something. He wanted different. to break through it because he's the only one who knew where the break points were so that he could easily and quickly break through it. I so remember apparently, that now. Apparently it was uh, four different people wore the Mike Myers outfit, including Deborah Hill, for a, a distant shot because she's about our height. Yes, I remember that now. And he has such intense eyes. Dr. Lewis can tell a story with those eyes. Here is Dr. Loomis in front of the Myers house where he knew that Michael would be arriving at at some point because he always goes home. There's Lori in her character, all scared and ready to attack. And in between. And in between. All right, Michael. Look what I found. This would have to go above the fireplace <laughs> in New Hampshire. There would have to be a big fireplace because that is a big painting. It's okay. Jonathan Frid as Barnabas. So here's the shape outside, um, behind the hedge. Which when he disappears behind the hedge on her their walk home. Here are the girls. 
So this is an amazing little gallery. They not only have awesome pictures from the movie Halloween, which was filmed in this general area. They have awesome art and trinkets that is perfect for the Halloween buff. And for those that are not, you can start to be just by coming here. <laughs> they have awesome, awesome products. So I would recommend that you stop by and they are having trick-or-treating here for the kids on Halloween night. So bring your kids by and check out the Sugar Mint Gallery. Yes. Does the boogeyman exist? I don't know, but we got a cat with Klingons. <laughs> no boogies, just Klingons. <laughs> well, everybody, we hope you enjoyed our little adventure that we took you on today. And that you found out a little bit more about the whole Michael Myers locations. How weird we are. <laughs> yes, we're just a little weird. And if you did enjoy our video today, please give us a great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below. And join our neighborhood community and as you could tell we have a pretty strange community yeah. or at least we're the strange part and people kind of like watching strange so. hey share this video with your family and friends because they may want to see where the whole Michael Myers killing spree began it was in Haddonfield, Illinois <laughs> We, we will see you <laughs> tomorrow. Bye. Bye.